Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I want to apologize for the echo. The echo is really bad in here right now, at least it is in my ear. And that's because this room is almost empty at this point. So if you have been following the channel, you guys know that this is going to eventually be the Bat Bunker. Now, I am to a point now where just about everything is out of here and I'm gonna show you exactly what everything looks like without everything in here, at least the current state of the Bat Bunker, the Bat Cave, whatever you want to call it. And the project start date should be in the next month or so. Um, we're still waiting on materials and those sort of things and uh, whenever the actual person can come in and start. But it's looking like February, March-ish um, for a start date. So that is very exciting in terms of this is actually making some progress here. Um, also, I've got some great new renders to show you, some renders that somebody has been working on here, a fellow collector uh, who has been gracious enough to share these renders with me to kind of give me an idea of what the space is going to look like and also to let you guys know what the space is maybe going to potentially look like as well. Um, I am still open to ideas, so if you guys have thoughts, if you have opinions on how things should look please let me know in the comments down below. Again, I always really appreciate the advice. So what I'm gonna do first is show you the Batcave, the current state, and then we'll get to the renders, okay? All right, guys, so here is the current state of the Batcave. Uh, it is, uh, I'm gonna go to kind of a wide shot here um, just to kind of show you what's left. So there's not a ton left in here um, at all. Um, I have cleaned up a lot of this area right here. We've got our uh, power tools and some things that are going to go upstairs in our garage. Uh, this piece right here, uh, I might have mentioned, is going to be um, taken off the wall, so it will be concrete before they put the, uh, the drywall in. Um, I can't remember if the last time I had shown you, I think we still have this wood shelf here. There it is. Uh, I completely dismantled it, um, and it does have that notch which I've shown you guys before. Uh, it does have the notch there. So my plan right now is to go completely um, across and then build some built-in shelves, which again, I'm gonna show you with the, with the renders uh, to give you kind of, kind of an idea of what that's gonna look like. Uh, let's see what else is in here. We just have some stuff. We can't have sheds and stuff in our neighborhood, so I don't know exactly where this stuff's gonna go. Probably up in the garage. Um, again, we just have some stuff. I've shown you this before, kind of what it's going to look like um, with like a, a tiered system. So like a shelf like this and then a taller shelf and then a shorter shelf. Um, and then of course LED lighting. I've considered doing like white, like white tops, white bottoms, white interiors, uh, just to kind of let it pop a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, still got my shelving here. This is still something that needs to come down. Um, I just need to take these off the wall and figure out where I'm going to put the wood. They actually might be using some of this wood for the project. So we'll see. Again, just kind of knick-knack things, stuff that I just need to put away. Um, but for the most part, again, this room is just about uh, completely empty. Um, again, I'm going to kind of come to the corner here so you can again get a feel for how big the room is going to be. Built-in shelving up front, garage shelving on the sides and then probably garage shelving in the middle uh, for actual middle displays. Uh, this area over here most likely will be um, more display and possibly my workstation. Um, I can't remember if I've shown you this. I don't know if I did, but this is an actual Pirates of the Caribbean movie prop. Uh, you can see how big it is. Uh, it's massive. Uh, it was used on one of the ships, the, actually the Empress from Pirates of the Caribbean number three. And uh, this is for sale if anybody is wanting to come to Kansas to get it um, because I don't have any space for it anymore. But it is uh, screen used, it is fiberglass, it's heavy, but it's a beautiful piece of art, um, which is why I bought it. I just don't have any room for it anymore. So anyway, all of these things are going to come down right here. This will all be uh, dismantled and taken off the wall. Again, this is all just a workshop, so we had all this extra lumber in here. But it is a pretty sizable um, wall. Again, here's the door coming into the room. Uh, pretty sizable wall that can accommodate maybe my uh, editing desk. Um, I don't know exactly. So I can imagine the editing desk, maybe the TV on this wall, or I also said maybe the TV uh, in the middle. What do you guys think? TV there or TV here? So anyway, current state of the Batcave. Again, most of it's cleared out. Uh, just been working bit by bit when I have some free time. Um, 
But if you guys saw it the first day, you guys know how much has been cleared out of here, which is pretty crazy. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the Batcave and I'll show you some of the renders um, that I was telling you about. All right, guys, so here we go. And these are renders from collector Matt K, who is a phenomenal uh, collector. He's doing a uh, his own collection room right now as we speak, but he's kind enough to take the time to help me design mine. And he's just doing this out of the kindness of his heart. So uh, please like this video and thank Matt. Um, so basically, these are renders. This is just to give me kind of an idea of what the space might look like. Um, also to give you maybe an idea. Um, as you can see, it's got the tiered shelving, uh, the garage shelving along the sides. So you can imagine the comic book third scale pieces or maybe the Arkham on the other side. Uh, lots of room to display both and it'll be top and bottom. I've also considered putting a riser basically around both sides to lift it up so there would be nothing really on the floor and put some storage underneath. I don't know if uh, Matt can design that for me as well, but that'd be pretty cool. Um, obviously you can see the front has got that built in shelf look. Um, the lights, the blue is just meant to be like LEDs. Um, I don't know for sure if I would have like the brown area in front, like the, it would maybe just be the TV with a shelf in front. I'm not sure. Um, but I love the idea of the built-in shelves with LED lights, um, just to highlight all the quarter scale pieces, all the sideshow pieces, uh, you know, have like the samurai on one side, um, the comic book pieces on the other, uh, with some room for, you know, expansion. I also, I could also not have the TV in the middle and have more shelves in the middle. What do you guys think? TV there or more shelves uh, with a kind of a division? That way I can kind of divide the lines if it's Samurai or Sideshow or whatever, uh, or even the new the Prime 1 now that they're doing quarter scale as well. But that's basically where my quarter scales would be. TV may be there. This is looking where that TV is looking back in the room. And obviously he has added a couch. I would not do an L-shaped couch necessarily like that. I would probably do like a couple of movie theater chairs um, like I already have. And that would probably be it because there's not a lot of people that'd be hanging out in the back cave other than me. Um, I also wouldn't have the shelves all piled up together like that. They would be spaced out in the middle, um, but definitely would highlight some pieces like the bat bike or other pieces like that. And again, this is just kind of placeholder just to kind of give me an idea, kind of a feel of it. Um, you can also see that there's a table back in the back. That's basically what I'm thinking is maybe that would be where my desk would be. That's where I would edit. Um, however, that is also taking up space. So I don't know for sure if I would do that. I also need to figure out like where my review table would go. Um, cause that's also going to be something that I need. So I might just push all of this forward. So like where that couch is, it would be much closer to the TV. The shelves would be much closer and then maybe a desk, um, or something there where I can actually show, um, off the, uh, the statues uh, when I do the review. So I still have to do some thinking there. What do you guys think of the built-in shelves there on the far end? Um, again, he threw in some different colors and some different wood grain just to kind of give it some differentiated look. I don't know if I would do that. I would probably just keep it pretty simple and keep it just, uh, you know, built-ins um, with some real thick shelving to hold the statues and then you have LED lights uh, pointing down. Also, again, I'm still trying to figure out if I like the idea of the TV there or if I should put the TV where the, the on the desk wall uh, where I might do my editing and put all the movie pieces on that wall as well. So it'd be like I'm kind of a media area. Um, so I, I just don't know exactly what I would do, but it'd be basically be that wall. The only thing that he's missing here too is there's a door uh, where that corner is. So I wouldn't be able to do that corner thing like that. So, but you still get the idea of, of the different shelves, um, lots of room for display. And then there would be a door there. And then that back wall again, might be my editing room area, uh, possibly a few more shelves with some movie pieces. We'll see. What do you guys think? Again, should I put the TV on that wall? Again, it would be the kind of on that wall as you first come into the room. Um, again, we're looking at where the back wall would be. So uh, I'm still trying to figure that part out. But again, I th hopefully again, this just gives you kind of an idea kind of, of, of how the space could go. Again, I, I, all of those shelves in the middle would be spaced out more, um, probably, you know, a, you know, back and forth, just like that kind of, or maybe even do like a, a wide in the middle and two small ones on the side, like podiums on the side, like, uh, you know, bigger ones down the middle. Like just shift those you know, over and then put some smaller ones on the side. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, just to kind of space it out. I don't want it to look cluttered. I don't want it to look cramped. 
Uh, again, this is a larger space for me, so I definitely want to make it look good. I want to make it look uh, kind of like a theater, a museum. And uh, I always think of like Sideshow Con, kind of like how they had their booth set up. I'd kind of like to have something like that. I also love the aesthetics of the XM Studios gallery. I would love to accomplish something like that where they use a lot of black and white. And I think that that's would be, that would be something I would like to do. Again, I just feel like there's a, a lot of uh, great displays with black and white. It also, to me, is the duality of good versus evil, uh, Batman versus Joker. Um, he also sent me a few photos of some things uh, just to give me some ideas, maybe some like recessed lighting like this. I could see me doing something like this. Of course, that would add to the cost. Um, it's already going to be pretty expensive. I mean, I'm, right now I'm looking at a quote of ten grand. That doesn't include electrician. It just in, includes the walls and the shelving. Um, and, um, uh, that's about it. The ceiling, you know? Um, and so I still have to, you know, pay the electrician, still pay for the flooring and all that other good stuff. So again, time is going to tell on this, but again, I just want to throw this in here just to give you guys kind of an idea of what, um, the space could look like. Again, I think it's pretty awesome to see, um, indeed, but, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, I still have some thinking to do, but I've got a lot of options here. So with that said, guys, uh, I'm going to kind of wrap this up here again, just kind of give you another look at the Batcave, um, kind of, you know, the future space here. It's still very, very exciting. Um, I'm still nervous about the expense because, I, again, it's spending a lot of money um, where I could be spending a lot more on statues. But at the end of the day, I know that this is a space that I'm going to be really happy with. This is where I'm going to spend a lot of time. And I want it to look nice. I want it to look nice for me. And I want it to look nice for you guys that are watching every single day. Um, so again, I cannot thank you guys enough uh, for continuing to view uh, this progress and to view the channel and and uh, tune in to care what I have to say about statue collecting. So again, it just means the world to me. Um, again, it's just very, very exciting to do this. Uh, but again, I don't I don't love spending this kind of money. So I'm, I'm actually pretty nauseated by the whole thing. And I'm nervous because I, I don't want to make the wrong choices. I want it to look cool. So again, I really do encourage you guys just to please um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking. Um, if you think I'm making mistakes doing certain things, or if you think, um, what I'm doing and what kind of like my vision of, uh, taking the current back cave and making it into this. Um, I know some of you still really want me to use the concrete walls. I just really worry about moisture and, um, and things like that and soundproofing and, um, just the coldness of the room. Um, but I, I get it. I, I think that it does look cool as well. Um, but I just don't want to look like a bomb shelter or something, you know, I just want to look cool and, and, and neat, especially a place to display the art and, and everything else. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Again, I really appreciate your time uh, checking this video out today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. Consider hitting the join button down below for early access to our videos. Uh, we also have some great uh, bat merch down below, some t-shirts and things like that. So again, that all helps support the, support the bat bunker fund here. So again, thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, and again, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, again, just a little bit of an update on the bat bunker. I'll keep you guys posted as we get started here. As you know, whenever we start putting up drywall and stuff, I will of course document the whole thing as we go. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. Again, I hope you're all well, continue to be good to one another. Um, you all matter. You all are important in this world. Um, so thank you for everything you do. And I just cannot stress that enough. Um, you know, thank you for your generosity, your love and kindness. Um, I'll see you soon guys, uh, right here, actually in the bat bunker, bat cave or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.